What's up? I'm Matt. I'm Sai. We're from Junior, and you are watching Morgan Richards. Hey, I'm Morgan Richards here at Heads Above the Waves clothing store. I'm joined now by a band who are all about high fives, stage dives, and good times. It's, of course, Matt and Sai of Junior. Hi. Hi. We are. We sound so, <laughs> so like high fives and stage dives. Hello. Let's do it more, more exciting. Hey, what's up? Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, guys, you right? Yeah, 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 yeah,
our first attempt to directly sort of... It sounds a bit weird to say this, but it was kind of our first attempt to just directly reach pop-punk fans as opposed to like... Because wrestling fans are obviously a big part of our demographic yeah. and they've been so kind to us and they've been really cool through the whole process. So hopefully we, we felt like they'd be keen on what we put out just because they like Junior as a, as a thing, which is cool. But this is the first time I feel like in a long time that we tried to attract specifically music fans because there was no wrestling gimmicks in it. We didn't have um, uh, Nixon Newell in the video. We didn't have... Um, Oh, uh, Tegan, Tegan, Tegan Knox. Tegan Knox, that's it, sorry. And um, we didn't have like Fall to Pieces, we had like Matt Hardy and all the. This was a little bit exposed for us because it was like the first time that we haven't had a wrestling gimmick. And it's quite scary because it's almost like a little bit of a fail set because we know that like wrestling Mark's audience is really loves his stuff mm. and like wrestling fans love wrestling. So it was almost like it was quite safe. So this is a little bit of a departure for us. So, but I like mm. that. I like that sort of, you know, that little bit of fear. Yeah. Love it. Oh, great, well, good to hear. Of course, a lot of talk with Junior over the last couple of years has been an album. You mentioned now that you've been in the studio and everything's really done with that. What's the plan now going forward? Is it all ready to set up for a release date and everything, or is there still a couple of things you've got to tweak here and there? We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's what it's... We've got everything there. Everything's pretty much done. We want to make sure it's released right because, like, obviously, an album's a big thing. We've only done EPs up to this point, and uh, we want to do an album justice. So I kind of feel like if we do it, it'll be in the proper avenues, and you know, it'll be done properly. Um, I just, I, we just been waiting for the right people to come along um, to show, like, maybe some sort of like, like a certain kind of industry interest, which we want someone to help us. Who will go with us on that journey because it's going to be a long process yeah. as well because Junior Land we were touring that for ages how long were we two touring years. that? Yeah. two years and that was just an EP so like an album is going to be a big part of our lives so we just want to make sure we get it right so it's a bit up in the air at the moment but we we have an idea in our heads of when, it wants, when it's going to be but we don't want to say kind of, kind of jinx it I suppose I, I think know. that's it isn't it it's, it's always a tricky balance between like wanting to get it out there because we know it's sick and we need everyone else to know that it's sick do you know what I mean but it's also there's no point in rushing it and, and getting it wrong but yeah I, I think we're, we're all very keen to be sharing as much as we can as soon as we can um, so I definitely think kind of towards the end of the year we'll probably have something else if that's not the full album then there'll be something else ready to go by then I'm fairly sure so <laughs> he says <laughs> we're looking forward to hearing what's uh, going to come up next thanks man and of course uh, Junior have really been known as a really fun loving band and having that kind of just chilled out fun environment especially at your shows we've done a lot of limbo competitions for your songs uh, Pretty Dress we, I'm sure some of those gigs have gotten way out of hand with just limbo competitions and stuff like that do you know, do you know that the, there's the really funny story of how the limbo competition actually came into came to life was um, Mark we were doing a show in Bristol and we get into like the the middle eight of that pre-dress and Mark just kind of like just disappears off into the crowd and we were like yeah. um, <laughs> and he started doing he started doing like the Macarena or something didn't he? yeah like, trying to get everyone Classic, else then yeah. to like to do the Macarena with him or something and we're all just kind of like on stage just keep damping <laughs> this one little bit and it's like uh... <laughs> and then you know we're just kind of winging it and going along with it like, that's kind of funny and then we did a show uh, in Bournemouth then and I've got this thing where I always take a skipping rope um, mm. on tours with me because just like if you're sat down in a car or a van for however long every time you stop at a services to just like get out and do some skipping or even yeah. just genuinely when you're waiting for the show to start or whatever it's really nice to actually get a bit of cardio in bro but um, to just kind of like get your blood flowing a bit do you know what I mean and yeah. actually do something rather than just sitting around so we had the skipping rope we were on tour with As The Sun Sleeps we were in Bournemouth and there was some really weird thing where like the venue had opened doors then the first band wasn't scheduled to play for like an hour or something so people were coming in but no one was playing do you know what I mean so we were all just kind of like sat there kind of awkwardly yeah, with, with, with like these people yeah, coming yeah. to the gig um, and we were, we were doing like um, you know when you hold like two people hold the skipping rope and then you kind of do it like that and then um, we started doing like the limbo and seeing how that was going to go and then we were like oh screw it we should do that during the set as well so we did that and that's kind of it's just kind of escalated from there yeah. to the point where then we were when we did Download Festival last year um Oh my gosh, the amount of like the looks that security gave us when they were like, "No, you're not allowed to do any crowd surfing. You're not allowed to do any like you know walls of death or anything." And we're like, "That's fine. We do do a limbo though." How do you feel like, about that? Yeah, yeah. He's looking through like, his rules, going, "I mean, the limbo's not here, <laughs> so I can't say it's you know." Um, 
yeah so then we were like yeah um i think that was the most silly one wasn't it and then there was because there was all the guys from wwe were then doing it as well like no way jose was like in the oh, middle right. of the crowd doing the so um, funny <laughs> doing the limbo there i just remember looking at it and thinking this oh is weird. We're, yeah, yeah we're a really funny band which makes it funny when we like do shows with our friends in like holding absence and stuff mm. who are like incredible tight polished um immersive emotive bands and then we're there like yeah. everybody do a limbo you know we're a bit butlins yeah, aren't we? yeah. But well that's the thing i feel like it's going to be interesting as as this goes on because with this album like you know i almost feel like the single isn't kind of like an indication of how the whole album's going to be like it, it is in terms of like I, I think it's a mature, mature sound but we're still fun you know we still have lots of fun and it's definitely going to be a bit of a trick trying to balance the sort of like the emotional side with the fun side because like you know, we don't want to be doing limbo going, couldn't cry at your funeral. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was really low. Um, so, like, I've, that's always been something that's been in the back of our minds because we kind of like that that kind of, you know, that that kind of balance. Anyway, we like in bands because obviously, you know, we love Blink and they are the yeah. ones who balance it the most. You know, they have, like, you know, the the dick jokes and the you know emotional songs as well it's that it's that balance um but like it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting but i'm quite looking forward to to finding like the right sort of like the middle ground between the two because i don't think pop punk band should be too po-faced because it's i don't know it just looks a bit lame yeah <laughs> it's pop punk i mean it's like it's based on like you know its foundations are our dick jokes and you know three <laughs> chords and stuff so you can't take it too seriously yeah, so yeah anyway yeah, yeah. But with the fun side, you have done a lot of crazy touring experiences. We've actually played inside a wrestling ring. You've had Pete Dunne interrupt one of your shows, the download show, and ambush Mark, and just little things like that. Is there anything else that you've kind of had your mindset on that you think, well, maybe we'd like to try and get at a gig or maybe like a tour around or something like that? I think I think one thing, we've never actually done like a rock wrestling tour. Like we've done spotted shows, but I think it'd be really cool to do like a a wrestling you know a wrestling music tour i think that'd be a really really cool thing to do because like for our demographic our fans who are wrestling fans and also music fans it's perfect because it's almost like you get two events in one um and every time literally every time that we've done a rock wrestling show it's gone down really really well or like at least in the sort of vicinity you know like when we did because we've recently played the dome in tufnell park after a progress show and uh it ended up being packed and for us, we're, we're, we're too shit to be headlining um, <laughs> the Dome, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but in that moment, there was loads of people there. They knew all the words and they knew all that. And like, that was really, really surreal. So I'd love to be able to do that on tour, you know what I mean? Like, okay. do it every day. So yeah, that's how I kind of feel about it. But so that'd be the gimmick I'd want to sort of bring, yeah. I think, maybe. Yeah, and that's it. Otherwise, for me, I guess I just want one of those, like, spinny drum risers. Like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like Joey Jordan, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. just uh, do something like that. Yeah. I definitely think that, like, doing like a stage because I, I always i enjoy seeing bands where there's like a it's like a stage show is like a is a stage show as well do you know what i mean rather than it just being a gig a, yeah like I, I like what you know a tight band on stage is great um i think even little spots like um i like fire and co2 cannons and stuff like that i know it's like it's the impression that's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Undertone, like, yeah. Going, Hello, undertone. small little venue <laughs> yes. setting it on fire or something but, um, <laughs> blown off the eyebrows yeah. in the front row yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, I do think that would be cool to do something like that and, yeah. or even just figure out a way I know we did it before didn't we when, when Junior Land came out where we made like a little little cardboard city to kind of like have on the stage as well so there's like we're playing in Junior Land essentially and just, yeah. just little bits like that I think would be cool and, yeah um, definitely oh and actually yeah do you know what as well one of the other cool things we did was when Junior Land came out was um, we, we set up a venue so um, Hannah runs a club night called uh, Team Up and we kind of took over that on the, when the record came out, didn't we? And we, we took over Team Up and made it into like the Junior Land party. So there was like Junior themed cocktails and there was like, um, we had all stuff like, yeah, it was like- Pin the skateboard, skateboard on Andrews, Andrews yeah. and stuff like that, you know? And, uh, and just oh. little, yeah, like little like um, carnival games where like there's like a, you know, knock over the cans yeah. and win a prize and stuff, wasn't there? And the cans had all our faces on it and stuff. And just silly little things like that. I think that, to, yeah, to make the to make a show more of an experience rather than just the music as well, I think it would be really cool. Because the music itself isn't strong enough. Yeah, I was gonna say, anything to overcompensate is basically what we do. <laughs> And with all that now, of course, you're being extremely busy just really trying to get this record out there and touring across the UK in September. But is there anything else we can really expect from you guys now coming up in the near future? I think it's the, the, the September tour is probably the, the big one, isn't it? Because we, we specifically wanted to do small little venues that we've played in before um, to make sure that we're doing like 
intimate shows where we're like proper in people's faces and, and literally getting the, getting the songs in people's faces exactly and also as well you can't like sometimes at bigger shows it's hard to gauge a reaction because like whether it's for the better or for worse like you look into a crowd and go like nailed it and actually everyone was like that's all right or like you think like oh, no one's moving like are they enjoying it but it, that's just how big shows are like whereas if someone's like there you can literally be like what do you think of the new songs and i'll be like yeah it was good so i think that's that's important as well there's no like smoke and mirrors we get the actual sort of like feedback from people of what the new songs are going to be like uh, yeah i think so um yeah we've got a couple of cool things coming up i don't there's one that i don't know when we when we're announcing it, but yeah, um, I know. I was thinking that just now. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one coming up. I mean, it could be announced this week. I'm not. I have no <laughs> idea. But I hope that's that's going to be really really cool. Okay. Um, so that, keep an eye out for that. And uh, yeah, we're kind of just like we've got a couple of cool things that we can't really talk about yet because yeah. it's still a little bit up in the air. But like, it, these are the sort of formative area like the start of like the album cycle before the album's actually out so it's still sort of like coming all together but yeah we've got a couple of tricks up our sleeve a couple of teeny tricks i've put a spanner in the works as well though because i'm going away on tour with novo more then so i'm i'm gone like october through December. that's our trick is like congratulations yeah. we don't have sign yeah, yeah yeah so um maybe yeah maybe it'll be like junior is a two-piece for two months or something yeah. but uh yeah no i so i think definitely like our big focus at the moment is getting psyched and ready for this September tour. Um, dates available, musicofjunior.bigcartel.com. Um, yeah, that's the, kind of the, the big focus really for now. And then keeping on working on the new music and trying to get as many people to hear it as possible and as many people to realise how sick it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Well, uh, that's about it. Cheers, guys, for taking time out to have a quick chat with me. Thanks, man. Thanks, brother. Best luck with everything now. And hopefully, catch you again very soon. Cheers, man. Catch you soon.